are counting down the days until Super Bowl 56. And in his 13th year as a pro, former Lions quarterback Matthew Stafford is finally playing in the Super Bowl. While meeting with the media today, Stafford talked about both his 12 years in Detroit and his trade to the Los Angeles Rams. He says one of the things that he learned in Detroit was how to overcome adversity, and that helped him during his Super Bowl run with the Rams. You know, I mean, I know that sounds cliche, but there was plenty of time in Detroit where, you know, we were having a tough, tough stretch of games or I was having a, you know, a tough quarter or a tough half, whatever it was, and being able to just, you know, trust yourself, trust your preparation and go to work, um, you know, and continue to work and, and trust your teammates and all that kind of stuff uh, that, that really, you know, I, I still feel that way and think that way today. Stafford also told reporters that his daughters told their teacher their dad was playing in the Super Bowl. They ended up being really surprised when the teacher told them that they already knew. <laughs> Love that. Now let's get a look at the week ahead for Michigan State Athletics. Men's basketball takes on Wisconsin at the Breslin Center Wednesday night. That's at 7 p.m. They also host Indiana there Saturday afternoon at 3.30. You can watch that game right here on Fox 47. As for the women's basketball team, they play Michigan at home Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Then they also face the Hoosiers on Saturday, but they will be in Bloomington, Indiana. Tip-off for that game is at 3 p.m. Men's hockey has a double header in this week with Michigan. They'll play Ann Arbor Friday night at 7.30. Then they face each other again at Little Caesars Arena Saturday night at 7 p.m. And it has been a rough start for the U.S. Olympic team in the 2022 Winter Games. As of this evening, the U.S. is tied for 14th in the medal count with just three silver medals. The Russian Olympic Committee leads with seven medals overall. Two of those are gold. Tuesday's events are just getting underway in Beijing, which is 13 hours ahead of mid-Michigan. And while the Winter Games are happening, Chinese tennis star Peng Shuai announced that she is retiring from the sport. It comes the same day as the IOC officials met with her regarding her safety and well-being after accusing a high-ranking Chinese official of sexual assault. Fox's Anna Eliopoulos has more details on this.